Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last video, we did a few side things before starting off the Woodfall Temple, which we're a good ways through. We also got the mapping compass. I just got the compass at the end of the previous video. Yeah, th there's not terribly much to do left. It's a very short dungeon. It's a rather easy dungeon still. Maybe not as easy as the Deku Tree, but whatever. It's still a pretty easy first dungeon, especially considering you have to do an awful bit in the game before even getting here compared to some others. Give me stuff, thank you. Alright, this next room is kinda dark. Be careful! I sense a lot of evil here. And a great fairy. But yeah, there's these little black creatures that we want to take care of. Alright, we're gonna need to light up some torches with our trusty Deku sticks. They're around the edges, but we still have to find them. It can be a little tricky in the dark. But it's not a very complex puzzle. There we go. Now we could get out, but we want to get the chest. Which... Yeah, it's useful to have the compass rooms like this where you wouldn't expect the chest to be. They they do stop spawning at some point, at least in this room. In most other rooms, they will just keep coming. This room's an exception, and in here we will get ourselves another stray fairy. Which, hey, I could use. I took a bit of a beating. There shouldn't be one in this next room. Uh, let me just check though. Yeah, nothing. Let's just be careful about the dragonflies. Because of course they will be a pain. Oh boy, I was starting to think I wasn't going to make that. Are none coming after me? Wait. Alright, let's just hope! Whew! That was a close one. Alright. Take me over there. Oh no! Okay, that was actually kind of nerve-wracking. I thought I was going to get hit there. And getting hit would not have done me well. Alright, first let's hit this little switch here. Now we got some shortcuts. Hooray! We've also explored most of the dungeon by this point, pretty much. What's up? Look! From up here we have a better view of that shrine below! Yes, how lovely. Alright, so let's go in here and... Hooray, it's actually time to fight our first mini-boss of the game! At last! What is it? It's a Dialphos. They have learned how to breathe fire, but they're no match to our Deku Nuts and jump attacks, and... That's it! He just has to stand or swipe in that fire breath attack, but that's the easiest way to take care of him. Really pathetic. But now it's time to get our dungeon item. What could it be? The bow. And just a fair warning, the rest of the dungeon items really aren't surprising, which kind of eliminates the fun. They're all variants of arrows. There, I, I said it. That's it. So, next will be fire, then ice, then light, so... Yeah. Don't uh, look forward to these dungeons for the dungeon items. Uh, it's not going to be anything shocking. <coughs> but, something that is interesting is that th these dungeons... They don't have just one mini-boss. They have... T two. Darn. Are you kidding me? 
Did I actually let that happen? There we go. All right, come on, come on. I'm waiting. Thank you. All right, now let's go in here to fight our next mini boss. Uh, I think his name is, yeah, oh, it's Gecko. That's a Gecko, it's pretty angry. It's pretty weak too. It really shouldn't be making a fool of you. So let's see, um, you shoot arrows at him and then the second phase starts where he summons up a snapper. Now it, it really shouldn't be that hard to figure out what you do here. You dive in and you knock it over like that. Afterwards though, you do need to get at him with an arrow. Preferably quickly. Okay, seriously? There we go. You just repeat this process. After doing it three times, he'll succumb. Oh cool. I actually never got an arrow pickup like that coming out of the deck of flower like that. So I find that kind of cool. I like that. All right, one more time. And this is the entire mini boss. It's it's not hard. It's easy. There we go. Just barely, just barely hit him there. Hello, Mr. Frog. And look, the boss key. We are at the end of the dungeon, pretty much. But we still want to collect all the stray fairies. That's a that's a definite. <coughs> but hey, boss key, yay! I'm happy. Things are going pretty smoothly. And of course. Now that we basically have everything, we are going to want to do some slight backtracking, and it doesn't really matter which way I go, but I do want to go up here. It's just a little faster. There we go. Our next little puzzle. It involves trying to light that torch. There we go. Yeah, this purifies the water now that the shrine has been reactivated. It also kills those little plant eaters, so we can actually step on them as Link now, which is handy, to say the least. There's some stray fairies to collect, so let's go collect them. Yeah, okay. This one could be a little trickier. Yeah, see, I missed. <laughs> this is tougher than that torch puzzle in the forest temple. Your aim needs to be more precise. All right, we're not done in here just yet. There's still a stray fairy according to the mask. And there's a switch there. I think you can see where this is going. But that next room is the very last room. Again, it's a very small dungeon, and it's a very easy one, quite frankly. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll open that chest in a little bit. For now, there's still the matter of getting that other stray fairy that was under the water in that bubble in this room. Now that the water's been purified, we can safely get it. You know, if the camera would cooperate, that'd be nice. There we go. There's five more. There's four stray fairies in the last room, by the way, so don't worry. Don't be concerned. If you have 11 stray fairies before entering the last room, you're perfectly fine. Trudging. Even if you didn't use the invert song of time, you should have very little problems actually completing this dungeon, because it's very short, and it's really the only one that's short. The others take a pretty considerable amount of time. It's still longer, it's still longer than the Kid Link dungeons from Ocarina of Time. Not by, m not much longer than Dodongo's Cavern, I'd say, but it is still longer. 
There we go. This is why the Great Fairy's Mask is so darn useful. It makes it one of the most useful masks of the entire game. Was there one over there? No. Alright, so... Going out to turn back into a Deku a bit to get these last remaining stray fairies. But there is one down there, actually. So let's get that one. Of course, you don't get your ability as soon as you get all the Stray Fairies. You still have to go back to the Great Fairy, which you most likely won't be doing until after you get out of the dungeon. Because why the heck would you leave the dungeon? Then you just have to backtrack in. It's more trouble than it's worth. You can easily wait till after the dungeon, unless you die at, say, the dungeon boss. Then there's nothing wrong with heading out. Unfortunately, there's no teleport item like Ferror's Wind in this. There we go. Now we just have to solve the last set of puzzles. Which involves hitting that little crystal switch over there. Um, and how about maybe killing these dragonflies? Let's try not to miss. I said let's try not to miss. I'm missing. Oh, there we go. There we go. Of course, we do have a time limit to make it across. But since we're already over here, it shouldn't be much trouble. Okay, in here we go. Now I have to f turn all the way around. There we go. And here's the boss door. We're already at the boss. But I am going to be honest, for a first boss, this one can actually be tricky. I was shocked when I first fought him. Mass Jungle Warrior Adolwa. This guy has a lot of attacks. The best thing you want to do is wait till he doesn't attack and then hit him with an arrow. He won't block otherwise. Or he'll run around like that. You stun him with an arrow and then you go up to him. Of course, it's got to be a little quick. You can also hit him without using your arrows, but it's a lot tougher to do so. Like that. So he has two different swipes. He has a forward swipe and he has a side swipe. See, that's what happens if you hit too early. He has a lot of other abilities too that he generally does as time goes on and as you deal damage to him. There we go. You can actually kill this boss easily by spamming spin attacks, the quick spins, but I don't want to do that because I actually do want to show off this boss. I may be fighting him again and I could demonstrate then. I'm running low on arrows. Oh. This is usually around the time he starts summoning various bug creatures that will come towards you, and you'll have to st kill them quickly because they will keep following you. And this is what I mean when I say this boss can be quite tricky. He summons a lot of stuff, and I mean a lot. It can become very distracting very quickly. He has many other attacks too. Like he has another chance which forces him to summon a bunch of bugs that will keep following you. But he's not doing them, surprisingly. Oh wow, these guys are getting annoying. There we go. Oh, that's the attack that summons a bunch of bugs towards you. Again, the bugs don't hurt much, but... Yeah, let me show you. See? They come out of his mouth? That I didn't know. See how hectic this boss can get? I thought it'd be fun to show this off. 
And yes, it most certainly does make this boss a lot more fun. One of the most enjoyable first bosses in the entire franchise, honestly. Aside from how chaotic he acts as well. And now I'm out of arrows, so I gotta be a little more professional. He can also summon a giant ring of fire, summon blocks from the sky, and, and a spin attack. Wow. I gave him a lot of chances to do stuff, and he just wouldn't do them. It can be a very hectic boss, but if you were picking up hard pieces, this boss is far from being an issue. It's still a very fun boss, though. I love this one. And here we get Odolwa's Remains. It's a simple dungeon with a somewhat tricky first boss, honestly, but it's actually a pretty nice dungeon for first dungeons. What's that? Way teaching us some sort of melody? Well, don't just stand there. Get your instrument. Could this be the song? You learned the oath to order. Um, call us. That's what it's saying. The oath to order is a is one of those. Things you get that's only used once. You get it early on, but you don't use it until the end of the game. It's one of those instances. Although they make it pretty clear by the end what its purpose is. And of course, by completing a dungeon, you generally start fixing all the troubles being caused in that side of the world, which is wonderful. A lot more benefit. The four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was seen inside that mask? Uh, oh! Hey, you were pretty good out there! Have you done this before or what? Now, just give up that pace and save the other three. Hey! Um... All that stuff I did to you... Your horse... I... I... I, I apologize. Sorry. There! I, I apologize! This is a total order against me! Got it? Now then, we found the prisoners just like the monkey ass. So now our next stop is in the mountains. Let's hurry do something about that skull kid. <coughs> okay, now this part here is going to be the reason I don't end the video just yet. Because the princess is in here.
Ah! Who are you? Link, pleased to meet you. I am the Deku Princess. Were you but just asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha! Just as I suspected. You see, your body's just a little bit like monkey. So, the monkey made a bad fun after all. That's good. Ugh. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> Don't tell me. Are you serious? Oh, his father actually doing that? Oh, yet another hasty decision, father. Well, we haven't any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Link, could you please find someone to carry me in so you can take me to the Deku Palace? I have just the thing. You see, I knew I wouldn't need this fairy. How often is it that you actually get a puzzle after the dungeon boss? I don't know if the franchise has ever done that again. Yeah, I can. In another video, I have to stop playing now, so... Let's head over to the owl statue, and that will be it. Yay, dungeons completed. I could have killed that boss much sooner, but I wanted to show off everything. I'm really surprised he didn't do anything. Usually he starts spamming spin attacks on me. I'm surprised he didn't do that. I gave him a very fair chance there. Very fair. Oh well, in the next video we will bring the Deku Princess back to the Deku Palace and solve all the problems here. Until then, this is Mateos Fan 109 and have a nice day.